In this video, I'm going to show you how to do mole to volume conversions. Many of the chemicals we deal with are in a physical state as gases, and they're difficult to weigh or mass because they float off the scale. But we may still need to know how many moles of the gas we have. So when you're experimenting with gases, there are a couple of variables that can affect them. So two things that affect the volume of a gas are the temperature and the pressure. We, so we need to compare all gases at the same temperature and pressure. We call that standard temperature and pressure, and it is zero degrees Celsius in one atmosphere of pressure. We abbreviate this as STP, so you're going to use this a lot in this course. Uh, this isn't a number you need to memorize, this is on your reference table, but you probably will memorize it, you'll, you'll see it so much. So the interesting thing about gases is that at STP, one mole of any gas occupies a volume of 22.4 liters. It doesn't matter what gas it is, but if you're at those same conditions, any gas, it doesn't matter which one you have, takes up 22.4 liters of space. So this is called molar volume. Now this is a number you do need to memorize. This is our fourth equality. One mole of any gas, assuming that gas is at STP, will take up 22.4 liters of volume. So if this is an equivalency, we can use it in a conversion factor to convert from moles to volume or from volume to moles of any gas at STP. So let's do some examples. What is the volume of 4.59 moles of carbon dioxide gas at STP? So we'll start with the 4.59 moles of carbon dioxide and set up a bracket. Now I want moles to cross off, so I'll put that on the bottom, and I want to turn it into volume, because that's what the question is asking us for. So this is a gas, I hope you recognize CO2 as a gas, and it's at STP, so this should be ringing bells on the chapter test when you get to this question that it's time to deal with molar volume. One mole of the gas is 22.4 liters of the gas. So moles and moles will cross off, and we type into our calculator 4.59 times 22.4, enter, and you will get 102.8 liters of carbon dioxide. So that's going from moles to liters. You just multiply by the molar volume. We also need to be able to go from liters to moles. So how many moles is 5.67 liters of oxygen gas, O2, at STP? So we'll start with the 5.67 liters of oxygen and set up our conversion factor. We want 22.4 liters on the bottom because I want liters and liters to cross off. And there's one mole of O2 gas and 22.4 liters of O2 gas. So liters will cancel. And in my calculator, I type 5.67 divided by 22.4. And that will come out to be 0.253 moles of O2 gas. So like with any conversion problem, always start with the one piece of information that they give you and then make a conversion factor to get rid of the units you have and end up with the units that you want. And if you're dealing with a gas at STP conditions, remember one mole of that gas is 22.4 liters.